Jamaica. Welcome well my people. I am happy to stand before you today. Now, do you know that Jamaica or Jamaica is on the verge of becoming a global logistic hub powerhouse in the Caribbean? Do you know that? And do you know that we've got massive infrastructural development that are on are ongoing in Jamaica? Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to be here. For those who are new, this channel is called African Awoke. Our motto is derived from a song that was done by Bob Marley, One Love. Our aim is to spread love in all corners of the world as African people. And our teachings mainly come or comes from Marcus Gavi, who wanted to see unity and a prosperous African people, regardless of your ecological niche. Whether you are within African continent, without African continent, his vision and objective was to see we as a people come together. And so we are trying to walk in the footsteps of Marcus Gavi and our leaders and heroes who fought for us. Ladies and gentlemen, today, as usual, you guys have known me to always uh, giving you facts about Jamaica. We have got people attacking me and telling me, you know what? You are sugarcoating. You don't know the tingo. <laughs> like you don't know anything. But I agree that I don't know everything about Jamaica, but as an African son, an African man who's trying to learn much about our Caribbean brothers, there are things that I'm, I'm learning and I'm, uh, I'm trying to discover. And once I discover anything or I come across anything, I'm not ashamed and I'm not going to back down or stop to share with my friends from Jamaica and even outside of Jamaica. Now today, ladies and gentlemen, it will go in history that this African son or African man told us some things about Jamaica. When those things that I'm going to speak today materialize, when they come to fruition, when they manifest themselves, this video will be remembered. For those who are saying we are sugarcoating, when that day comes, we are going to see if I was lying or I was speaking or spitting facts. Ladies and gentlemen, I asked you a question before, that do you know that Jamaica is on the verge of becoming a global logistic hub powerhouse in the Caribbean? And as we're speaking today, the global logistic hub is being implemented. I'm not saying will be implemented. I'm not saying uh, <clears throat> they're planning to implement it, but I'm saying they are implementing a lot of things to ensure that Jamaica is a global logistic hub powerhouse. Now, let me break it down and give you facts. Jamaica is located in the middle of Caribbean and the Western Hemisphere, right at the mouth of Panama Canal. So it means that geographically, Jamaica has got an advantage. It has got a very big advantage. So like I've said, it means that geographically, Jamaica has got advantage. And Jamaica, geographical location, is unmatched in the region for global shipping and trade. Its geographical location is unmatched. And that's why you'll see some people when you talk about Jamaica, especially in the Caribbean region and other parts, they are jealous. And they're trying to tell me, brother, stop. Why? Because we are trying to give facts. And when you say that Jamaica, geographical location is unmatched, listen, this location is natural. This location has been there inherently, intrinsically. So Jamaica's got an advantage. And that's why, if we look back in the days, the pirates in Port Royal, you get what I'm saying? The pirates in Port Royal chose Jamaica as their base because most of the ships in the region has to pass through Jamaican waters. They chose Jamaican because most of the ships have to pass through the Jamaican waters. And so it means that its strategic location gives it an upper hand its strategic location gives it an advantage over most of the countries in the Caribbean. And so these are the facts that we have to understand in real life. So as we talk of Jamaica uh, geographical location, let us remember the Jamaican's water space is 25 times its size. Jamaican water space is 25 times its size. So naturally, it's easier and Jamaica is well positioned to become a major global logistic hub you know, that position 
makes it easy and you're saying naturally for it to become a global logistic hub just like Singapore, Dubai. You know, when you talk of Dubai, when you talk of Singapore, now Jamaica is going to that level. And remember, we've got only three major global nodes in the world. Three major global nodes. That is Singapore, Dubai, and Rotterdam. And now Jamaica, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's becoming hot. Now Jamaica is being positioned to be the fourth in the level of Singapore, Dubai, and Rotterdam. Jamaica is being positioned to be the fourth global node. And I know some of you will ask, <coughs> you're saying it is being positioned. What is happening? Can you prove to us that Jamaica is being positioned to be the fourth global logistic hub? You know, just like Singapore, Dubai, and Rotterdam. Chill, my friend. Let me give you some, a little facts. As we speak today, we've got massive infrastructural development that is ongoing in Jamaica. As we speak today, as I speak now, we've got major, massive infrastructural developments that is ongoing. Three major highways, three major highways are being constructed as we, as we talk are being expanded. There is expansion, you know? <coughs> there is expansion of major highways and both international airports are also under expansion. Donald Eriks, Donald uh, Erickson sang and said, I said, this is the, I said, this is the land of my birth. I said, this is the land of my birth. I said, this is Jamaica, my Jamaica. The land of my birth. He knew that the land of his birth was well positioned. And he knew that one day a time would come when Jamaica would be positioned to be one of the greatest country. And you know what? It is no longer a dream because it is happening. As we speak, it is happening. And so Kingston Wharf is also undergoing massive expansion. Kingston Wharf is undergoing massive expansion. Now, for those of you who have been following, <clears throat> just recently, the German dry dock ship repair in Kingston Harbor opened its second ship repair in Kingston. It has opened its second ship repair because it knows that all the aspects now have to be in place. And what is happening is that this shipyard, this shipyard that, is, that has been, the second one that has been opened by the German, you know, the German dry dock company. This one is the only of its kind in the region that is capable for lifting heavy, you know, heavy post Panamax vessel out of the water for repair. And so this is happening in, 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 in Jamaica. So those of you are saying, you know what, African man, you should keep quiet. And if you're talking about Pan-Africanism, start back home. No. Remember, Marcus Gavi was in Jamaica, you know, but he loved his people. You know, when he traveled different countries, he had never come to Africa, but his heart was in Africa. He did a lot for Africans, despite the fact that he never visited. So it's not about visiting. You might be in Africa, but your heart is not in Africa. I might be in Africa, but my heart is in Caribbean. So ladies and gentlemen, these are just facts. And Jamaica is being positioned to be one of the biggest and so one day when these things happen remember this african man had talked and spoke about them now you remember when i told you that jamaica had won you know the global tourism destination award so we can never forget about tourism and you know how beautiful this country of jamaica is now what is also happening currently in the field of tourism in the field of tourism our, or the tourism sector massive investments are also happening. Massive investment is being done in Montego Bay. In Montego Bay by Hard Rock Hotel. You know, Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Reeds, Charlton and Unico. You know, they're trying to construct a massive 2,700 room and resort to ensure that even visitors 
who are coming are going to be accommodated. And they're also building a casino there. Hard Rock Hotel. You know? Hard Rock Hotel. Reads Carlton and Unico in Montego Bay. So these are things that are happening now. Just Google and check. And so when you speak these facts that Jamaica is rising up, we know some of us in Africa, we are trying to follow up. Now let me take you through. The Pinnacle Project in Montego Bay is constructing four massive luxury. I've said four massive luxury, 28 floor building that will be the tallest building in the Caribbean. The tallest building in the Caribbean is going to be in Jamaica. <clears throat> I know you're gonna, some of you are going to say no, the tallest building in Caribbean is in, is in Dominican Republic. I know, I know. Now this building that's going to be built in Jamaica is going to have 28 floors. You know, it's going to have 28 floors. The one in Dominican Republic has got 45 floors. And so you're saying me, you're telling me African man, African I walk, if you went to school, how could you possibly say that a building that is 20 uh, that has got 28 floors can be taller than a building that is th that has 45 floors let me break it down the tallest building in dominica republic is you know 591 feet now the one that is going to be constructed in jamaica the pinnacle project in montego bay is going to be 984 feet so sometimes we don't measure that i mean if you, want to, if you want to measure how tall a building is, sometimes you don't look at the floors. We look at the height. So I agree that there is a, a tall building in Dominican Republic, which is 521 feet with 45 floors. The one in Jamaica will be 28 floors, but it's going to be 984 feet. So Jamaica is going to have the tallest building in Caribbean. You might say I'm sugarcoating, but one day when this happened, remember I said it and I checked it. Uh, and I did a research when this is going to happen. So there is massive investment that is ongoing. You know, that is ongoing. Now, in Green Island, Westmoreland, in Green Island, Princess Resort is building a massive 2,000 room and casino right now. Now, look all this thing, Hard Rock Hotel, the Pinnacle Project. And now I'm telling you that Princess Resort in Iceland, I mean in Ireland, Westmoreland, there is also a project that is being built there, a resort and a casino. It is happening right now. Right now. Now, RIU in the Trailway. I don't know how to pronounce some of the you know places in Jamaica. RIU is also constructing a 750 room resort. You know? The Princess Resort, that is 2,000. Now this one, seven, 750 room resort. So at the moment, new fire stations are also being built in Jamaica. New fire stations, even police stations. <laughs> even police stations for the bad-minded people that will try to, you know, that will try to, to curb the peace because you want Jamaica to be as peaceful as possible. Country in, in, in Caribbean. So we have got like shopping malls that are coming up, parks, you know, urban center, and all are under construction. So all these things that I've said them, if you are doubting me, you can go and check. <coughs> but what I'm saying, that Jamaica right now is in a progressive mood or mode. It is not in a retrogressive, you know, manner. So ladies and gentlemen, something is happening. And so with all these facts that I've stated, let us agree that Jamaica is doing a lot of things and a lot of things are under construction right now and i've been speaking and one day when these things materialize as an african man african walk i only want to you know to to come together and reunite with my brothers so ladies and gentlemen jamaica being a country that is well positioned it's easy for a lot of things to happen and let us agree that naturally, it is God-given. God placed Jamaica where it is. Where it is. And if you look at even the national anthem, it's a prayer. So this is a prayerful country. Why, we don't, why are we not saying this, man? 
It's a prayerful country. And so God has answered their prayer because, prayers because right now, this massive development are happening. So if you have your time, you can look at the expansion of airports. You know, you can look at the expansion of, 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 of the major hi uh, highways. You can look at Hadro Hotel investing there. You know, the German ship, all these things are happening. And Jamaica is positioning itself, you know, for greatness. Now, when this happens, it means that even unemployment rate will be, I mean, will go down. You know, youths are going to be employed. And even workers will now be coming to Jamaica. Tourism sector is going to boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been talking about one love. And we are here to spread love. My main aim is to ensure that all the beautiful things in Jamaica has been revealed. All the beautiful things of Jamaica has, uh, has been revealed. So that's my main aim. Remember, we as a people, it's only us who can uplift us. It's only us who understand what we are going through, what we went through, and what we might anticipate. So ladies and gentlemen, today I was just revealing some of the developments, some of the improvements, and some of the new things that are happening in Jamaica. So for now, I wish you well. I love you, all my brothers and sisters, all my family members. Until tomorrow, for now, bye-bye. I love you all.